G'day cobbers, welcome back to the bush. In this video, we'll be checking out ABS versus gravel roads, helper hindrance. You might have recently seen an article in a Western Australian paper and also on news.com.au saying that ABS is no good for dirt roads. Speeds you off to the side. Well, in this one, we'll be checking it out. ABS, non-ABS, cadence braking, and also threshold braking. Let's get into it. First up, we do a control on asphalt with ABS. Well, that certainly put the brakes on. You may well be asking, well, what is ABS? ABS is anti-lock braking system. First designed in the 1920s as a mechanical system used primarily for aircraft to stop them from blowing out tires as they were landing on runways. And then, first electronic implementation was by Chrysler in 1971 in their Continental. And it's been getting better and better every day. What it does is it compares the speed in between the left wheel and the right wheel on an axle and front and back. Now, if you happen to be skidding, of course, that wheel will be turning a lot more slowly. So there's a valve in the hydraulic system for the brakes that'll let a little bit of pressure off to get that wheel turning again. Works fantastic as we just saw on asphalt, but what about gravel? Let's have a look. On the road from 60 kilometers an hour, we pulled up in an average of 14 meters. But what about on the asphalt? As we just saw, it blew out the distances in excess of 30 meters on average. But can we do any better? By turning off the ABS, well in this car, I can turn off the ABS with a little switch I put in. Let's give that a go. Well, I wouldn't have guessed that. 30 meters average with ABS engaged and 20 meters average just panic braking without the ABS. That blew out our braking distance nearly 50% at 60 kilometers an hour. So, looks like ABS isn't that flash off-road, but you've got to notice that it didn't spear us off into the distance. Sure, we followed the camber of the road, but can we improve that? What about cadence braking? Cadence braking is when you jam on the brakes very hard and then back off and steer. And jam on the brakes really hard and back off and steer. We'll give that a go and see what sort of distances we get. Bearing in mind, this technique should allow us to steer. Whereas panic braking, we pretty much plow straight ahead and follow the camber of the, of the road. Cadence braking certainly gave us back a bit of steering control, also blew out our distances a little bit. Not nearly as much as the ABS, on an average of 20 metres with just fully locked to 25 metres on average from 60 kilometres an hour using cadence braking. And don't forget, with the ABS, 30 metres. What about threshold braking? We know that's what all the professionals use. You don't see Craig Lowndes or Jim Richards panic braking, so let's give that a crack. It's 
So as you can see, I'm not going to give you Craig Lowndes a scare anytime soon on any racetrack. But I decrease my distances using the cadence technique, which is pretty much POV spec ABS, to the threshold technique. I decrease my distances again, down to about 20 meters average, slowing from 60 kilometers an hour. Almost as good as I did by just locking Locked. it up. So, so why is it better on gravel? I'm glad you asked. So on gravel, you're on a loose surface. You don't want to keep the wheels turning. What you need to do is you need to dig them in a bit. And the only way you're going to do that is to lock them up for a second. So you need the wheels locking to break. In conclusion, well, turns out ABS isn't as flash as the car makers would tell you on gravel roads. However, having said that, it allows you to steer, which is a great thing. And it also, in panic braking situations, most people can't threshold brake. They don't know how to cadence brake. And if they do, and if it's a practice skill, if a kangaroo jumps out in front of you, they're gonna forget all about it. Use ABS, it saves lives. That's it. Now, if you like this video or even learned a thing or two, don't forget thumbs up, comment, even subscribe. Now, if you didn't like the video, of course I encourage you to thumbs down twice. See you in the next one.